it's quite ironic considering my job to be honest i'm not all that interested in the concept of love of course in my column many people write to me about love and all the forms it comes in and how their stories are sincere i can't help it but feel removed like i'm experiencing the experiences through a series of doors and windows i'm not saying that i'm um, you know cynical <laughs> but when someone finally posts something i can relate to well it just feels nice today a psychic on the internet told me that the positions of my birth and the asteroids and the planets affects the way i love and communicate and that my planetary transits would be disrupted by the mercury retrograde she told me that my zero degree Saturn combined with my Sagittarius rising makes me a natural runner, which made me love. I hate running, but she urged me to try 15 paces and then 100. Eventually, it would awaken something within me. I wake up and I'm already tired. I get up, I go outside, I go for a run. I have no clue where I'm running to. Dear Words of Love, my name is Byron. I am 25 years old and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with my life. These things are always hard to talk about. I'm so unused to this, to being heard or maybe even understood. My name is Robin. Isn't that funny? Our names are anagrams of one and the other. Your words have touched me like no one's has in a long time. Hi. I think my last email was a mistake. I really didn't mean to press send or to bother you. I don't really need anything right now. But thank you, anyways. Are you a Gemini? I usually guess those kind of things right. I'm right, ain't I? You've just never found the right person who will listen to you. No matter how silly you think you are, I'm a Libra, which means you guess wrong. If I could think of just one thing, I could probably talk your ear off about some of the differences between a modern and a vintage road bike. I can tell you how I'm so fascinated again and again by razor ads for women where they literally shave their already smooth, shiny legs. I wish I could come up with a lie interesting enough to tell you. The last thing I remember doing was taking a BuzzFeed quiz to find out what kind of potato I am based on the colors I chose for each question. I'd like to think I'd be a roast potato with melted butter and rosemary. If you could travel to any point in time, where would you go? I think I miss being 10. I remember being 10 and crying to be picked up so someone could wrap a long bandage around the little scrape on my knee. How it stopped crying immediately because it didn't really hurt that much to begin with, you know. I get that. It's going back to the moments when everything was possible again. And you didn't know what or who lied I hate. And you didn't care because it was so far away. Honestly, I spent most of my days thinking about the future and about being somewhere else. Well, I'm happy you're here now. Talking to you has made me realize. I didn't know I was hiding so much goodness inside of me. I hate that I have to say goodnight. I honestly wish you'd never shut up. I always want to hear what you have to say. But before you go, I have one last question to ask. What is it? When can I hear your voice? Pick either A, B or C. A, tomorrow. B, next week. C, never. 
Hey, tomorrow. Maybe. I'll think about it. Hi, hello? I'm here. Are you there? I'm so here. How are you? Good. I'm good. That's good. Maybe there's a faulty connection. I know that some, the weather just, just stops everything. So, um, when did you want to meet? Yeah, I don't think I'll make it. I have this thing. You know what? Um, I actually finally booked a flight to Paris next week, so I'm not sure if I can make it next time. I'm happy for you. That's good. Goodbye, Robin. I hope you have a safe flight. Please don't go. I'll teach you French proper. If you still would like to see my face, I'll be standing on the edge of the field past Windflower Lane. It's not all lost. Come to me and I'll know you instantly by the passport you hold. You are lovely. Please linger near and please don't leave. I'll peel an orange and split it into two perfect halves and give you your peace. How did you know that oranges are my favorite fruit? I'd give you the bigger half because I want you to taste the more sweetness. Suddenly, I will start feeling strictly observed by you and the nature surrounding us. I won't hide it. I'll leave my favorite scarf behind. And I trust you will bring it back to me so I could see you again. Sincerely, words of love, Robin. Sincerely, user deactivated, Byron. <laughs>